Hi everyone, it's Leanne from Bradford Under Fives again. Hope you're all doing okay. Um, I've come online to just give you a few ideas of how you can um, do some map making activities outside. Um, I felt like, you know, probably some of you are missing your parent and toddler groups right now and maybe feeling like your kids are missing out on some of the activities that they used to do in them groups. Um, a lot of them being messy, <laughs> so you were uh, a bit reluctant to do them at home. But there's some really good ideas of how you can get outside and do um, a special amount of making activities um, outside in your garden. So I'm going to use my daughter to demonstrate some of these activities and hopefully give you some good ideas. So first of all we've got Alice and she's going to be doing some mark making in this flower. If you turn the stick upside down Alice it might work a little bit better. So that's it, you can do lots of different marks in there. And if your children are a little bit younger and they haven't got that grasp for the paintbrush yet, they could use cars. Just give the flower a shake. Lots of different things that they could do in there. Fabulous. You've enjoyed doing that, haven't you, Alice? So next, we've got Alice doing some chalking outside. So this is also really fun. Um, and draw pictures, write letters, different things and the chalks are really easy and cheap to buy from your local supermarket Fabulous So next we've got mark making using water So we've got lots of different things here available So we've got paint brushes You can do different shapes And the good thing about this is that it can be quite messy, but obviously it'll just dry in the sunshine. You can use different sponges. Lots of different things to do there. Yeah. If you don't have anything like that, I've got some pom-poms. You could even wet them. Do different marks all over your garden. Alice um, used to like painting the fence, didn't you, Alice? Yeah. Oh no? See what mark that makes. Fabulous. So next, we've got Play-Doh. So, a really popular activity in toddler group. Um, and we've got lots of Play-Doh recipes. Um, in fact, Alice and I might have a go at making some Play-Doh or Pam filming how to do so. Um, sometime next week. So get your play doh out, Alice. Have a little play. Do it outside. You can use a tray. If you don't have any trays, you could use some um, plas plastic plates, paper plates, that kind of thing. Just get outside in the sunshine. Change your routine for children. And then next, Alice, we've got just drawing. So. Alice has got some paper and some cranes here on her blanket and she's just drawing some pictures and it just breaks up the day a little bit and children are getting lots and lots of time to do different mark making, different ways using their imagination helping us all to have a healthy happy mind so they were my tips for getting creative and mark making outside Hope you found that helpful. Stay safe.